What is good, y'all? Welcome back to another fire-ass video, man. As y'all can tell from the title, man, we got our 2023 gun collection here for y'all, man. And honestly, man, I'm thinking my guns, uh, my gun collection is a, it's a little bit better than Zay's, to be honest with y'all. Let me just interrupt that right now. And he knows I got the better collection, but we just getting started, so... Let us know down in the comment section, man. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we're going to start off real nice, real quick. I'm going to start off my little Hellcat Springfield, man, for y'all. As y'all can see, I do got that wrap on the handle. And for YouTube, always, it's clear and ready to go. I like this not only because it's small and compact, but this was my first gun purchase ever. Like, this is the first gun I ever bought. So it holds a little dear close to my heart, honestly. As y'all can see, like I said, nice small little fit on the hip, you know what I mean? But yeah, I posed 13 rounds. I got the mag right here. Got a 13 round mag plus one. As y'all can see, I got them big boys in there. So right now I'm using this as my EDC, but to be honest with y'all, man, I'm looking for something different right now. And I'm either looking like in the SIG category or the Canon category, to be honest with y'all. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with this. As y'all gun owners know, man, you can't just have one gun, you know what I mean? You gotta have varieties. Especially when the weather's getting warmer too, you start to see the gun in the print and everything. You want to change it up a little bit, but that's that Hellcat. All right, y'all, let's jump right into my EDC. I like this because it's a compact firearm, Smith Wesson MP shield. You know, I got that peanut butter grip, and as always, it's it's safe. It's unloaded. You can see it's clear. You can see the detail and the cuts on the firearm. It kind of has that grip feel when you get it. And then when you throw the mag in there. Uh, it adds that extra, that extra hold there. I'm not gonna let the, the action go forward, but you can see that my pinky ain't falling off. I like this gun again for a number of reasons. The look of it, also that safety there. I can keep one in the chamber. I know it's not gonna go off. All right, next up for my gun collection, we got the Beretta APX A1, four and a half inch barrel. I think it is. Uh, don't quote me on that. I believe it's like four or four and a half inches. But as you guys can see, empty. Ain't nothing in there. And y'all can tell too, I do got a little tactical light on there. And it does have a green dot on there as well. Super cheap, man. I got this on Amazon for like 50 bucks. But anyway, I bought this as my second gun. I wanted something for like a home defense. And I was kind of drawn to the Beretta APX. Main reason for that was because it does hold 17 rounds plus one. Not only that, it is capable of MO, MOS sights, and obviously it has the tactical rails right there for my light or B. Honestly, the whole gun itself is not too bad. Um, the trigger at first did feel a little weird, and it still kind of does feel weird when you dry fire it. But honestly, when you take it to the range and you shoot it, and Zay can contest to it, it shoots pretty damn nice if you want hunting with you. I, it does shoot really pretty nice. But... Yeah, this is my APX, or my Beretta APX A1, man. Nothing too fancy about it, but got a little tactical with it, though. Next thing I'm going to get into is another EDC. It's not mine, but it's my fiance's. It's that Springfield XDS. It's a compact size. Um, I believe it's the same, around the same number of rounds in the mag here. It's got eight plus one. She doesn't carry one hot, which I'm totally sure she should, <laughs> because there's really no point in carrying a gun if you ain't got one hot, right? Facts. Uh... Again, I like this gun for many reasons. One, that it's smooth. It is a little snappy, I'm not gonna lie. And for her, that's not a good thing, but it's smooth, man. Look at this gun. Look at it. I just, just the way it looks. It's got that red uh, front post. I don't know about, but something about red front post on man. guns, I like it. It just, the accent of the red with the black. It's I, smooth. It look nice. It's got that rear grip safety, that trigger safety. So it's a couple different mechanisms to keep make sure that you don't fire that weapon. That's even why I'm pushing hard for it to carry one in the chamber. Just because that's the safest thing. Um, you never know when you're going to need a firearm. That's why you always got to stay safe and stay strapped, baby. But yeah, that's that Springfield XDS. Alright y'all, up next is probably one of my most favorite guns. If y'all haven't already, I posted like two weeks ago where I bought my first Glock. There she blows. Glock 45 Gen 5, y'all. As y'all can see, it is cleared, nothing in the chamber. And if you did peep my last video, y'all may have saw that I had the Tiffany trigger on there. 
and also had Army Glow um, sights on there, which this Glock 45 does not. Some things happened, long story short, got rid of the Timney trigger and went back to the Glock um, trigger itself. Shaved it down a little bit so it does hit or pull a little bit smoother than the regular stock Glock 45. Uh, not only that, as you guys can see, I do have night sights on them as well. But yeah, man, I was super excited getting this gun. My brother owns a few Glocks, and I just know Glocks in general are really popular with people. And the Glock 45 was the next best thing, I guess I can say, to the Glock 19X that I really wanted. And honestly, the only reason I wanted the Glock 19X is because of that peanut butter color, no jelly. I'm telling y'all, man, that color, that color is, it's almost worth the $600, no cap. But for my first Glock, I had to go with the Glock 45, and probably for my next purchase will be the Glock 19X, honestly, just because of the color of it. But that's the Glock 45. <clears throat> my brother mentioned it himself, but... You know, I'm part of the Glock Boy JBs, you feel me? And of course, I had to snag that 19, man. Glocks just look so neat, so detailed. I mean, they're a basic gun, a lot of people say, but they're easy to shoot. They're very reliant. Um, again, it's that Glock 19 Gen 4. Uh, nothing, doesn't have the MOS cut outside. It does have stock sights on it. Don't come at me for the, on the comments, man. I, this is one of my first guns I purchased. Um, I really didn't do much to it because obviously I jumped into a lot of different guns, a different EDC and things like that. I'm still yet to trick this thing out. That's coming. From that Glock 19, your boy had to grab that Glock 22. If y'all don't know what that Glock 22 is chambered in, man, you know now. It's that 40 cow, baby. Them big boys. It's that big boy. You see them big boys? We need that for them big boys. Uh... Glock 40 or Glock 22, sorry, 45. I don't even got one of those, but it's got the night sights on it. Um, it's clear. Um, fun fact: it is one of my old duty weapons. Uh, we used to carry the 40. Now we went to the 17. I'm gonna show that next. But that Glock 40, man, it's near and dear to me. It's got the finger cutouts. Um, it's very smooth. Again, this thing's been shot a lot. It kicks. Um, I loved it when I had it as a duty weapon, but we'll get into that 17. And now for this next one, y'all, man. Y'all better hold tight, because this one might get y'all off y'all chairs and onto your feet, because it's fully dressed, man. We got that Glock 17 fully dressed with the Trigicon RMR, the TLR1 HL Streamlight, the Suppressor Height Sights, Night Sights. Oh, this baby is fully dressed, and it just gets me geeked when I hold it, because it feels so good in your hand. It is clear. Again, everything on this clock, besides the suppressor height sights, is mine. I bought it, but this is what I currently carry on duty. If y'all missed it in the description, I am a law enforcement officer. We ain't gonna get into details. This channel's not about that, but this is what I carry every day in the 9mm. That thing is dirty, man. That thing is nice. I ain't gonna okay, care, man. Dirty, Something man. about a fully dressed pistol, man. It fully just dressed. You just can't go wrong. You really just can't go wrong. Alright, just to finish up the handgun aspect of this collection, I got something real special for y'all. And that something special is that Smith & Wesson 38 Special, man, with the wood grain handle. Look at that. And it is, it is clear. Ain't nothing in there. Man, we took this to the range probably like a week ago. And this thing shoots like a champ. One hand, left hand. All kinds of hands we were shooting with, but yeah, this thing is nice, and I believe we picked it up for like just under 300 bucks. A Smith & Wesson 38 Special for under $300. Come on now, you can't go wrong with that. But yeah, that's that little, that little pocket rocket is what they like to call it. For the next gun, jumping right into my grandpa's gun. Uh, this is an old gun. I don't even think it shoots anymore, um, but I had to show it off just because it's older. It is a shotgun. 12 gauge I might be wrong I do some more research on it maybe clean it up a little bit but it's gonna be a home decor so real gun though leads me to my last gun it's that Ruger 556 baby ah that bitch is looking good got that six hour Romeo 7 on it sighted in 
Uh, got the stock Ruger sights. They're not the best. The rear post is fixed, so it doesn't flip up or anything. I got this about a year ago. I haven't done much to it besides get the Romeo 7 on there, but it's a real clean gun, everybody. I mean, look at that. You Nothing know we keep sharp. that. Yeah, it is sharp, ain't it? It's a lot better than your AR, so. Shoot. All right, sticking with the long, boys. Next up, we got that 12-gauge long barrel for y'all. As y'all can see, nothing in there. Just the extra rounds on the side. But, yeah, as y'all can see, 12-gauge long barrel right here. This was my brother's gun, and I acquired it because he don't shoot it that much. He don't really like it. And to be honest with you, it feels like a beast when you shoot this mug, honestly. And that's one reason. And it was pretty cheap, honestly, too. Um, I mean, that's a lot of 12-gauge shotguns, I think, honestly. Because when I look at bills, they have, like, their brand new ones for, like, maybe 300, 400 max. And that's if, like, it's, like, decked out and stuff like that. But generally, 12-gauge shotguns, they go for fairly cheap. But this one right here, as you can see, you got the support grip right here because that thing do kick when you shoot it. So you need that little extra, that little extra support, but as y'all heard, that thing nasty. So you hear that, somebody will bust into your house. They gonna, they gonna think twice about that. So that's that. Nice little 12 gauge for y'all. Next up, I have a 410 bolt action shotgun right here um, this was my grandpa's as well mm. that thing's stuck on me <laughs> hold on y'all <laughs> it's been sitting out look look outside it's been out here for what probably the last hour hour and a half so it's cold this thing is old y'all but look i got it back as y'all can see, nothing's in there. But yeah, my uncle got it from my grandpa. My grandpa passed it down, obviously, to me and my brother because you guys just saw my brothers. And obviously, this is mine right here. But this one right here, my grandpa mainly used when he went hunting. So I thought that was pretty cool. And my middle name is his first name. So I thought it was only right for this grandson to get this rifle. So. And last but not least, we have the Anderson AR-15 fully dressed tactical ready y'all. As y'all can see, I got the Romeo 5 sights on there. And it is clear. Nothing in the chamber or anything. And this light right here, I got for like 40 bucks on Amazon, I believe. And as you guys can see, it's not too bad, honestly. I think it makes the gun kind of cool. And also got a nice little schlingy schlang schlang for that thing. So when I'm wearing that bit around my shoulder, I can go ahead and grip that little five folder. You know what I mean? But anyway, like I said, that's that Anderson AM15 right there. It was a fairly cheap rifle. I think I paid like 580 or something like that. I bought it used. So don't tell me what looks better, man. Obviously, his is fully dressed right now. Mine is getting there. Again, I got that Romeo 7 on that Jean. But they both dirty guns, man. I like his rear stock. I like the uh, how it... Uh, mine's adjustable too, but I just like where his button placement is on it. We are going to get into a little bit of these bad boys. My brother runs right now. It's a 60 round mag. And you know we keep those bananas on us. Banana clips. Just in case we got to make somebody split. The banana clips. Hello? Let your key to speak. Got the long boys for you. Your. But that's it, man, honestly. Uh, obviously, there's going to be more to come, man. There's a few guns in my arsenal right now that I'm looking to pick up. And I know there's a few guns that you had your eye on, too. Like I told y'all earlier, I've been thinking about getting a SIG and or a Canik or just probably both um but yeah that's for a later video but thank y'all for tuning in to bullets y'all feel me and it is the middle of april right now i don't know why it's snowing two days ago it was like 90 degrees it's horrible we live in the midwest so it is what it is it is what it is y'all but as always stay safe and stay strapped we'll catch y'all on another one man peace